is get you it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over and talking about something that I did today that I'm not necessarily proud of or uh, you know what? I'm proud of it but not something that I necessarily recommend you doing if you don't have a ton of time to play the game okay and that is locking in this Tracy McGrady card for zero dollars. I've not loaded up VC, I've not loaded up MT, and I'm proud of that. Now, I have 562,000 MT, and so that is going to be enough to get me Trace McGrady. Now, why am I gonna get Trace McGrady? Well, I like Trace McGrady, but I also like Scottie Pippen. I think D-Rose can play. And then, I mean, one of the rubies, whether it's Boogie, Carmel, and I feel like there's a lot of guys in here that can indeed help me out. Now, again, the biggest thing is T-Mac and Scotty. I think those guys are going to help my squad out a lot. Now, you guys might be asking, okay, Ty, where did you get these six cards already? Well, that is something that I think is one of the bigger deals that if you are trying to complete this being no money spent, you've got to do, okay? So I completed all these Mirage sets, and with that, guys, I also got the skills challenge done when it does uh, come down to the Mirage set, which did give me a deluxe pack, okay? So that's kind of what I got done, what I did complete. Now, out of that, I think I pulled like a, a gold or an emerald, nothing too crazy. But again, it's just all stuff that is indeed going to help me get this Trace McGrady. Now, I'm gonna try to go as long as possible, having one of the best squads in the game while not spending any additional money. So like, I went today and I was like, you know what, how much would it be to buy all? And I saw that uh, 297,000 MT, and then I did that, had the math in my head, and I'm like, okay, that's like $60. I'm not down for that, right? And, and again, I could. It's not the end of the world. I, may, I, I do gameplays and stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? What if I grinded out these agendas? What if I spent my MT that I've worked hard the past week getting and just got T-Mac? And that's ultimately what I decided on. Now, again, is it probably a smart idea for me to get Trace McGrady? Probably not in the grand scheme of things. Like, that's just the way it is. It's probably not and going to be end, end up being the smartest idea. But I'm going to have more enjoyment for the next week playing the game. And while I'm going to be playing the game, I'm going to get the MT count back up. So that's just kind of my initial uh, response to it, guys. Is it worth locking in Trace McGrady? No, okay? It is absolutely not. And it's not probably worth locking in any of these sets. I'll be the first to tell you. If you wanted to go get an Amethyst, I'd probably recommend Scotty Pippen. Again, we are going to be doing gameplays of a lot of these cards. But it's it's just kind of where we're at. And uh, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things. Probably not a good idea for me to lock in for Trace McGrady. Nonetheless... I'm too deep in, guys. I'm too deep in. I spent the last two hours of my Friday grinding these uh, agendas out to make it just cheaper to get Trace McGrady. Again, I'm a man of I'm a, I'm a man of money, right? So when it comes down to spending, you know, a, a few dollars to get T Mac or grinding the game, I am going to grind the game out. Now, if you wanted to grind it even more, okay, and get this Mirage Deluxe Pack, you absolutely could. For me, I just don't have the time to do that today. Um, so I'm not going to but again if you wanted to add this this could be another player for you guys that could definitely help you guys out So again, that's just kind of my opinion on things uh, and how I do approach it But without further ado, I mean, let's get it. So remember the 562,000 MT that we had Okay, because that is going to be a thing of the past. Okay, I started I don't know with not a ton of MT So it's gonna be nothing but a thing to build it back up but man, I mean, this is going to be really expensive. And I don't know if I'm ready for it, guys. I really do not know. It would be way more expensive if I wouldn't have got like the car I'm alone for free. Guys like that. But again, I just, this, this is painful. I mean, from me, knowing how long and how hard it was for me to get my MT up, this is tough to see. Because I'm basically back to square zero, okay? Amethyst Trace McGrady, welcome home, welcome to the squad. Now, one thing I'm interested about is, okay, uh, it said I got Trace McGrady, but I haven't locked him in. So, is that something I've got to do now, is lock in the set? Because I was like, okay, T-Mac popped up, but I hadn't locked in the set yet. And so that's why I'm going to have to go in here and actually lock it in to get T-Mac. Oh my goodness, man. I don't like this. I don't like locking in sets. I never have, never will. But on, I, I will say on this game because the sellback values are so small it doesn't pay me nearly as much as it has in the past like i used to absolutely hate locking in sets 
But as far as it is, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned this year, it isn't nearly as bad. It, it still is painful. Don't get it twisted. Don't get uh, don't get it wrong. I, I still don't don't feel great about having to lock in this set. But at the end of the day, I think it ultimately is going to be worth it. Trace McGrady for zero dollars spent on VC or MT. Welcome home. Now again, I, I I'll, I'll be honest. I bought the best pre-order uh, version. I bought the battle pass for twenty dollars. Outside of that. I have not spent a dime on the game, and I was able to get T-Mac. Now, that's with being said, I have not spent any MT. I've basically been saving it up for this moment. Is he worth it? I don't know. That is totally up to you. But now if you go and you build, you know, my best squad or, or my squad, right? Now you can start to look at a squad that is going to be absolutely elite. Because now I got Derrick Rose. How good is he? We'll see today in a gameplay. Now I got T-Mac. Now I got Scottie Pippen. And now you're looking at a squad that, again, can go out there and I feel like I'm, I'm unbeatable. right? And, and before I, I couldn't quite say that. And now I swear if I get beat, I got nobody to blame but myself, the man in the mirror, because my squad is going to be up there, again, with some of the best squads that you can have in my team. So, again, that's kind of what I'm super excited about. Even to try these new cards is exciting for me in general. But before you know it, you got Scotty, you got T-Mac, you've got an absolutely dynamic and incredible squad in my team. For me, absolutely basically free. Okay, and again, it's going to be hard for you guys, I feel like, unless you have a ton of time to play the game to get him for free. Because again, I've grinded a ton. If you look at what I've got done, I've played a ton, 67 games of Triple that Offline, 40 or 38 of Triple that Online, 11 Clutch Time, 20 Salary Cap, 15 Unlimited. I mean, I've played a lot of games and even Domination, I've played six games. I've played a lot of games. So realistically, is it possible to get T-Mac no money spent? Or I, when I say nobody spent like no extra additional money for free, it is possible. But again, it is really, really hard to do. But this is the new look squad. If you want gameplays of these cards, man, they are coming very, very soon to that to the YouTube channel. So make sure to smash that subscribe button, guys. We'll see what T Mac is looking like, as was Scotty Pippen, Derrick Rose. But that's gonna wrap it up for our video, guys. I really do appreciate you guys. Again, for the next week, I'm gonna have to be grinding, so probably gonna stream a lot on Twitch. Make sure to go follow that. That link also is down below in the description. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, have a blessed day.